Hello, small groups. My name is Jonathan Collins. I am very passionate about prayer. The reason is that prayer is my direct, intimate connection to my Creator and Savior. I've experienced so many powerful things from God, everything from removing anger built up over 18 years to hearing an audible voice say that, I love you, that brought me back to the church after being hurt by people. You want to know why I'm passionate about prayer? Because while I'm praying, I know I have experienced God's love in such a powerful way, I've not been the same since. That is why I also love to bring others' requests before God, or even pray on behalf of others. It is my hope that they will experience God's life-changing love. This week, we are concluding our seven-week study on prayer. Reading Timothy Keller's book has stretched and challenged us on so many levels in how we think and practice prayer. In the final two chapters, chapter 14 is about the importance of our petitions, praying for our own needs and the needs of others. Chapter 15 is about having the discipline of daily prayer. To me, this book is trying to give us heart tools on a head level. I know for a lot of us, it is difficult to ask for things, maybe because of our pride, or maybe we think it is such a small thing we can do it ourselves. For me, I know I avoid God because of fear of being rejected or being told no to something that's really important to me. Guess I shouldn't hold my breath on getting that BMW convertible, eh? Either way, I know that I need to come to God, not as a vending machine, or a killjoy cup, but as my father who loves me and wants to provide on every level, even in the most basic of needs. The more I walk with God, the more I grow in faith. The more I pray for others, the more I look beyond myself, the more I'm going to ask for things that align in what God wants in my life and what will truly give me pleasure. Daily prayer needs the scary D word, discipline. How is it that we are relational with God, but yet talking to God takes discipline. Confusing to me, but truly discipline is very challenging to me. Those of you that know me know I'm a person of routine and structure, but yet I struggle greatly with discipline. In fact, God has challenged me over the Lent season, the six weeks before Easter, to listen to Him in silence. That's right, just listening, no talking shutting out the noise in my head, in quiet for 10 minutes, every day. Hmm, good luck to me, eh? To be honest, when I have done this with the right attitude, as hard as it's been, God has met me in such a powerful way that has not only moved and softened my heart, but crushed my fears. I have not experienced God in this way in close to 20 years. My hope is that this discipline becomes a regular habit in my prayer life. We have a variety of prayer teams that you can check out. We have prayer team for Lakeside Kids, a prayer team for Celebrate Recovery that meets at the church on Monday nights and prays while the ministry is happening. We have a Wednesday morning prayer team that meets at Lakeside 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. and prays for specific requests as well as the ministry of the church. We also have Lakeside Downtown prayer team that meets on Friday mornings and does the same thing. Perhaps you are interested in being part of the prayer chain, where you receive prayer requests via email and then pray on your own. On Sunday mornings, there is a team of people who sign up once or twice a month and, and pray for the people who come forward after the services. We would love to have more people join us in providing prayer this way. Maybe one of these prayer team opportunities is really interesting to you, but you're thinking it is one thing to read a book and another to actually pray for others. I'm doing a prayer ministry training that will better help you feel more confident in praying for others by giving you some basic tools on how to do this, as well as the opportunity to practice these skills. We'll be meeting Sunday, March 26, during the first service in the chapel. If you are interested in signing up for the prayer training or getting involved in any of the above prayer ministry groups, please contact Janet Collins at the church or myself at jonathancollins at hotmail.ca. My prayer for you is that this study has given you tools to strengthen and enrich your own prayer life, that God has changed your view of prayer and has empowered you to spend more time in connecting with Him for yourself and others.